In this video, we are going to be looking at graphing linear inequalities. Okay, so we have the inequality y is less than 2x minus 3. So first we identify the slope is 2 because that's the coefficient of the x term. And our y-intercept is negative 3. So we're going to go to negative 3 on the y-axis and graph that point. And then we'll use the slope to get some more points. So if we go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and we continue until we cannot continue anymore, we go down two and left one to get that last point. Because this is a less than, we do not include the line itself. So what we would do then is just have an open circle, but in the case of a line, that's going to be a dashed line. So let's go ahead and fill in this information. For less than or equal to, we would have a solid line. For greater than or equal to, we would also have a solid line because it includes the line itself. For less than and greater, line, greater than, we have a dashed line because the line itself is not included in the solution. Now we have to shade. We want things that are less than this line. So we go to the y-intercept, it's the easiest place to see it. And we want the numbers that are smaller than this intercept. Negative 2 is bigger because it goes up. Negative 4 is smaller. It goes down. So we're going to shade in this area. This is what we would call below the line. So for a less than, we're going to shade below the line. And for a greater than, we will shade above the line. The same thing holds true for less than or equal. That would be below and greater than or equal would be above. We are given several points here and we are asked which of these are solutions to this inequality. So all we have to do once it's graphed is plot these points. If I go over one and up zero, I'm here. I am not in the shaded region. Let's see if I can make that a little bit darker for you. Since I'm not in the shaded region, this is not a solution. over 4 and up 5. If I go over 4 and up 5, I'm actually on the line, but the line is not included. I'm going to say B slash C for because, but because the line is not included, the point is not a solution. So then we go to 4, negative 2. So go over 4, down 2. This one is a solution because it is in the shaded region. 0, negative 3. This is another case where it is on a dashed line. So it is not a solution. If it were a solid line, it would be, but this case is a dashed line, so it is not a solution. Then we have negative 1, negative 6, puts us right down into here. This one is in the shaded area, so it is a solution. So basically, graph, shade, make sure that you have your line is either solid or dashed, depending on what the inequality symbol tells you. Plot the points that you think will be, um, or that you're asked to find, and then decide whether it is in the solution area or not in the solution area. Okay, so down here at the bottom, we have two more examples. In the first example, we're gonna need to solve for y, so remember we move the x, change the sign, so this is 3y is greater than or equal to 2x plus six. Then we're going to divide both sides by the number in front of the y, and then we're going to simplify. Now we did not divide by a negative here, so the inequality symbol stays the same. So we have a greater than or equal to. Our slope is 2 thirds, and our y-intercept is 2. So I'm going to go to the y-intercept, and then I have a slope of 2 thirds. So I'll go up 2 over 3 to get another point, or down 2 left 3 to get another point. 
Now because this is a equals, we get a solid line. We just extend that out. Because it is less than, we want, I'm sorry, because it is greater than, for greater than or equal to, we get a solid line and we want to shade above. So we look at two, where is above, the bigger things are here at three, four, five, etc. So we're shading above the line. So here it asks for number three, and number one above, which of the following would be a solution? So negative one, zero is not in the shaded area, so this is not a solution. Zero, two is on the line. It's a solid line, so it is a solution because a solid line is included in your solution set. Over zero up four is a solution because it is in the shaded area. Over three and up one, not a solution because it is not in the shaded area. And then finally two five, over two and up five. Again, that is in the shaded area, so it is a solution. Have our last example here, x minus 3y is greater than negative 6. We are not going to be testing points for it, we're just going to graph it. But before we do that, we want to solve for y. Remember that the negative stays with the 3 because every sign has a number and every number has a sign. And we are moving the x, changing its sign, so it's a negative x minus 6 on the right hand side. Then we're going to divide everything by a negative 3, and we're going to stop and switch that inequality sign. Those cancel. Negative divided by negative is positive, so we get a positive one-third x. Negative six divided by negative three is a positive two. So we go to the y-intercept of a positive two. We find more points by going up one and over three because that's our slope, or down one and back three. This is not an equality, so we are not going to have a straight uh, solid line, we're going to have a dash line. So what I do is I go to the points that I have graphed and I just dash those and then try to go a little bit beyond that to get the rest of my line. Because it is less than, I want things that are smaller than the y-intercept. So where is it smaller than the y-intercept? That would be below the line and we just shade that in. And that is how we graph the solution for this linear inequality. So here is how the solid and dashed lines go, whether it's below or above, what those look like when you are testing points, and whether something is a solution or is not.